Ben Affleck goes from Batman to basketball in the movie The Way Back. The Way Back, directed by Gavin O'Connor, the man that directed Warrior and the Ben Affleck movie The Accountant. In this movie, Ben Affleck plays Jack Cunningham, who is an alcoholic. He gets a shot of redemption in the form of a job opportunity as the head coach for his high school basketball team. Since he was the best player in that basketball team when he was in high school, to the point that they went to the playoffs when he was playing with them, and when he quit the team, the team never went to the playoffs ever again. The school has now asked him to be to become the head coach of the team. Now he's all grown up, so Jack takes it as a as a shot of redemption, hoping that'll help him put his life back on the right direction and put this basketball team on, on a good direction since. They're not doing so well playing games. They're a pretty bad team when Jack becomes the coach. But his coaching, of course, helps put them in a, in a better direction. And that's pretty much our movie. Now this is one of those cliche sporting team movies, much like The Mighty Ducks or Bad News Bears. And even though it does have that cliche formula with a coach that is down on his luck and getting a shot of redemption and an underdog team that, that that gets this great coach that puts them on a good direction to winning games, in this case basketball games. This was a really good movie. I did like this movie. Ben Affleck is excellent in this film. I really did like him in the movie. This is one of his best performances. Uh, Gavin O'Connor does a really good job with the direction in this movie. The woman that plays Ben Affleck's ex-wife in the movie, Angela, she's very good in the movie too. And then you have Al Manrico who plays Dan, the assistant coach. I did like him in the film. Each of the young actors that play the basketball players in this movie are all really good in this film. You have Devin, who is the best player on the team. Kenny, who is this, who is this player that is a bit of a ladies' man. <laughs> you got this one player that's a bit of a slacker named Marcus. And you got a few other players on the team. And this is a really good movie. The chemistry between the players is really good. The basketball games are very good. But this movie does have its flaws. First of all, it does have those typical cliches that you do see in a movie like this, but I didn't mind the cliches all that much. And the games that that they show in, within this movie do seem to go by a little bit too quickly. I wanted a little bit more out of the basketball games, but I understand that they made the basketball games go by quickly in order to make the movie go by quick and give the movie a good pacing. So I do understand that, but I, I wanted a little bit more. I wanted a, the same kind of feeling that I got from watching Mighty Ducks. This movie almost had that Mighty Ducks feel, but not entirely. <laughs> I did like the running gag of seeing Kenny being with different girls every so often, which was, which was really hilarious. But the, but the main flaw with this movie is the fact that this movie doesn't really good this movie doesn't do a good job with Jack Cunningham's character arc. I mean, he starts out as a drunk at the beginning of the movie and he really doesn't he really doesn't stop drinking until the point within the movie where he hits rock bottom. And you'll know the, that rock bottom point when you see it. And I wanted him to stop drinking way before that. I wanted him to stop drinking like like almost when he begins coaching or maybe uh, somewhere within somewhere within the point of being around these boys and coaching and making him realize 
Maybe I should stop drinking. Maybe I should go to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings or something. Something to show that he's actually putting himself on a good direction. That being around this team is rubbing off on him as well. And being around the team does rub off on him and does put him on a, on a good character arc. But it, the character arc doesn't go as as well as I hoped it would. Uh, I wanted to see that character arc be a little bit better with, with Jack Cunningham and it wasn't as good as I hoped it was going to be. But overall, I did like this movie. I definitely think people should check this movie out. So I'm going to give this movie a B. Definitely check out The Way Back.